Hello guys and welcome back to Persona 3 Reload. In the last episode, if you don't remember, we went ahead and we hung out with Elizabeth again. We had over seven meals with her, which is insane. And we fil filled out some more requests. And in this episode, we're going to hang out with Maya again. Although I need to go ahead and fuse a Hermit Persona, because I don't believe we have one at the moment. So we're going to start off this episode with some fusing. I'll be right back. I guess since we're here, I've never really uh, talked about how cool the Velvet Room is, especially this version of the Velvet this Room. Um, so first of all, it has all of the style that Persona 3 Reload has, you know, all of the silhouettes here, but also just the look of this whole place with the, uh, with the, all of the elevator parts and stuff like that. It's just so awesome. This is probably my favorite iteration of the Velvet Room. Just because it's so cool looking. I am Lamia. I forgot to read that text box. My apologies. It's set to auto and I can't change it at the moment. Alrighty. New message from Maya. Let's wreck some demons today. Hell yeah. I'm in Shinogawa Dungeon. I see Maya. I went to the gym yesterday to work out. My muscles are sore, but I'm so buff, winky face. There's nothing a little endorphins won't cure, right? Oars, so much pain. Actually, I only went because I was pissed at that bastard. Best option to say here is what bastard? Er, sorry. I have kind of a dirty mouth today. Maya seems embarrassed. What I meant was, I was upset because of this guy. Remember that Mr. E? The SOB, right? I made a small error on some paperwork and now he's all on my ass. You're supposed to be teaching correct grammar, he told me. STFU, old man. He thinks he's all that just because he's a classical lit teacher, FFS. Doesn't he know who I am? I'm Maya, you old bastard. If Mr. E starts playing this game too, I'm putting him on ignore. You can't talk to me either, okay? Hee <laughs> hee, pwned. Maya's confiding in me. I feel like we're growing closer. Jeez, it's been years since I've unironically heard someone say pwned. Mr. E probably doesn't have a computer at his house anyway. He probably uses an abacus. Talk about classic, Rafflecopter. Phew, much better. Maybe I'll go take a shower now. Blush. Don't worry. I won't let that old geezer get me down, Tatsuya. We should, as a society, agree to bring back Rafflecopter. I don't even remember that being a thing. But it's hilarious, so I want it back. Any people want to hang out? No, everyone seems like they're in their room studying like a bunch of nerds. Maybe we should hold off on going to Tartars tonight too. Looks like everyone is sitting in their own rooms. They're all keeping to themselves because they're busy studying, right? That's right. In that case, once exams are over, everything should go back to normal. Let's hope that's the case. Everyone is quite stressed out, so... Maybe if we give it a week... It'll kind of wear off. Now listen oh. here. Dude, don't bother me. I'm trying to study here. I don't get good grades as easily as you do, man. Laters. Sonata doesn't seem to be in his room. Okay, I guess he's out... I don't know, wreaking havoc on the town or whatever. Mitsuru doesn't seem to be in her room. Hey, sorry it's through the door, but can I ask you a question? If there's something you believe in, you, Kikun, something that even when everything is terrible and you've been betrayed by everyone, doesn't shake your conviction? There is. You're very strong. I wish I was like you. Aww. Is... are they in the command room, maybe? Someone's in the command room. Glad I checked. Um, I didn't mean to hide anything. I simply told you what you needed to know and omitted the details I deemed unnecessary. My but I should stop making excuses. Regardless of my reasons, there's no denying that I kept some information secret. I... I was hiding it. Is there anything up on the rooftop? When, when are the plants gonna grow? 716. Okay. Let's go back to the lounge. I want to see if there's any charm-related uh, computer stuff. Oh. Yep, lessons, lessons in etiquette. Looks like some charm. I want to use these up before they become completely useless. Quiz with right or wrong questions on, on, on manners popped up on screen. Q. Question. Should you arrive 10 minutes early to important meetings? 
A answer, no, you should arrive 10 minutes early to all meetings, not just important ones. That's a good joke. The tricky questions continue. I finished answering a large number of quiz questions. The manners I learned might make me more attractive and respected. Hell yeah. It's gotten late. I should head back to my room. It's good to see you again. How long has it been since we first met? Time passes so quickly. So tell me, how's life as a Persona user? Fulfilling. That's good to hear. I remembered something else about the coming of the end. It all stems from something that took place many years ago. Ten years ago, if I remember correctly. Oh, didn't your parents pass away about ten years ago? A persona is like a mirror, which means a persona user can never escape their true self. But no matter what, I won't leave you because we're friends, right? I sense a fate and bond forming between Pharos and me. Good night. So it seems like pretty much everyone is tied into this somewhat because our parents died 10 years ago. Mitsuru's grandfather caused a huge accident 10 years ago. 10 years ago-ish, Takeba's father sent her a letter uh, saying that something crazy was going down. The only people who don't have anything to do with 10 years ago are Sonata, Junpei, and Fuka. Because we don't really know anything about their pasts other than Sonata was at an orphanage with Aragaki and some person named Miki. And then in middle school he joined C's. Can hear people talking. Wow. Ah, we have exams starting tomorrow and they're cumulative so it's hard to remember everything. You know what? What if I fail again? I really wish the school would stop posting our names with our scores. Right? It's embarrassing. If we're near the bottom of the list, smart people like Kirijo Senpai wouldn't get get it through. Exams are starting tomorrow. Are you all ready? Summer vacation is just within reach, so you'd better study hard. Why aren't you excited? You know, summer vacation, beaches, shaved ice, woohoo! It's also the hottest time of the year though. Don't get don't go overheating, okay? Ah, uh, that reminds me, there's an old expression for the hottest time of the year in the northern hemisphere. Feeling sleepy. Should I close my eyes for a few minutes? No. Why? The dog days of summer. It goes all the way back to an ancient Latin phrase, the puppy days. Any idea where the phrase came from? Anyone? Well, it's because Sirius, also called the dog star, appears at the start of the summer. People believed it brought droughts and misfortune. Here's hoping we can avoid all that, I guess. Have a nice vacation. I believe Miss Terra Uchi has the same voice actor as... Uh... Clover from the Zero Escape series, and she also, I believe, voices some characters in the uh, Danganronpa series. Alright, I believe this is our last day before... What the hell is this exclamation mark? I believe this is our last day before uh, exams start, so let's hang out with Maiko, I guess. Then after that, we could get back to doing our normal social links. Except we're right at the... Uh, we're right about to go into summer vacation, so we might not actually be able to do that. Oh, the exclamation mark, that's for Elizabeth's quest, because now we can now we can go ahead and talk to the vendor right here. Oh, Daiyaki, it's a long-awaited new product that's getting rave reviews. I got so many requests from students that I started bringing them in every day. And you know what? It's a big hit. Sorry, I'm starting to ramble. Anyway, this Daiyaki is delicious, even if you chilled in the fridge at home. So try it out. Lukewarm Taiyaki can now be bought at the school store. So yeah, now we can buy Lukewarm Taiyaki just as normal. You can buy as many as you can possibly buy. I'll just buy, like... I'll buy five. I don't think I'll need that many for this side quest. 
We'll just need to remember to do something real quick when we go back to the dorm later today. Hi, Tomachika. Hey, Yuki, you studying for exams? Head home. It'd be sort of embarrassing if I didn't pass. Yeah, yeah, I know. I should get... I should study regularly, but I got other priorities, you know? Maybe we could study in the library, but I can't really deal with the atmosphere in there. Alright. We got the persona, so... We're hanging out with Maiko today. Got an emoji. I want to see you. Doesn't seem like things are going too well with her, so... Oh, uh, it's even worse than I imagined. Um, I... I... Thanks. Um, I... 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 I don't know what to do! <laughs> I should sit with her until she calms down. Dad! He hit me! He's so mean! It's not fair! Best option to say here is, that's awful. Yeah. You think so too? That's mean! Stupid meanie! Did was ask why they're getting a divorce. They got mad at me and said to stay out of it. So I kept asking, but Dad yelled at me and they hit me. Then Mom said it was my fault for asking so much. I don't know if they love me anymore. Do they just wish I would disappear? The best option to say here is they would never. Never? Then, why do they get so mad? What if I ran away from home? I want to know how they really feel about me. If they love me, they'll try to find me, right? <sighs> it's a secret, okay? Don't tell mom and dad I'm running away. I know you won't tell. Maiko seems to trust me a lot. I feel like we're growing closer. to go now. Let's play again sometime. Parted ways with Maiko and headed back to the dorm. Welcome back. <sighs> What's wrong? You all hungry or something? Mm, not really. An awkward silence fills the room. Um, you know, it's almost summer break. Oh yeah, it is, huh? Does anyone have any plans? I wish I could go to the beach. Hot sand, cool breeze, <laughs> babes in bikinis. Man, a break like that sure would be nice. It's somewhere in the south, where the water is crystal clear. But starting tomorrow, we gotta get through our exams. Oh man, this sucks. I'm sure you'll be fine, but it would be nice to go somewhere with beautiful beaches like Okinawa. Well, it's not Okinawa, but how about Yakushima? Mr. Chairman, I didn't realize you were here. I happen to be in the area, so I thought I'd drop by and tell you my schedule for next week. Oh, Hirinjoku, your father will be vacationing in Yakushima during the break. He... he will? You'll all have some time off after exams, right? Why don't you go and get a nice change of scenery? Seriously? We're gonna go on a trip? Yes! Beaches and bikinis! Beaches and bikinis! Beaches and bikinis? This guy. <laughs> How about it, Hirijoku? Well, my father is a busy man. 
I don't want to ruin his vacation. <laughs> Why so hesitant? No father would be upset with a daughter who came all that way to see him. You've all done a great job. You deserve to relax for a while. And we already know when the next operation will be, so I think it'll be fine. I don't know. Senpai, I'm begging you. <laughs> all right. I guess everyone needs a break now and then. Let's do it. The beach, huh? <laughs> I should design a special training regimen. Oh man, I can't wait! Oh, I need to go buy a swimsuit. Hey, don't worry. I got one you can borrow. Nice try. Are you going to swim too, Mr. Chairman? I'm afraid I can't. I'll turn to dust if I'm exposed to sunlight. Wait, seriously? Don't be stupid. <laughs> Kirito Senpai, wait up! Uh, I just wanted to say sorry about the other day. I might have gotten a little carried away. Don't worry about it. In a way, it's only logical that we go to Yakushima. The chairman said that no one who was responsible for the accident survived, but there is one who did. What? There is? My father. I had no idea. Hey, a lot of good, a lot of good stuff's happening now. Uh, Junpei seems to be back to his normal self. Also, uh, when uh, the chairman was like, uh, why so hesitant? My brain is kind of broken because the first thing I thought of was the Joker. Nice one. Uh, from the Dark Knight trilogy. And I gotta say, I didn't expect ikutsuki san to come bearing good news. I figured he was here just to share more of his lame jokes. Junpei, are you still mad at me? I'm so stoked for Yakushima, but that's one thing. You're as calm as ever, huh? I wish I had your chill. Uh... He didn't seem as... condescending that time, so we're making good progress. There's Mitsuru and Yukari are still dealing with their own stuff. I'm sure you have a lot in your mind, but try to concentrate on the upcoming ex exams for now. I apologize, but I'm not sure I really got across. It seems like there's this wall between us. Am I making any sense? Well, I'm gonna go study now. I am too. Got another event here with Ikutsuki this time. About Yakushima. Remember that you won't be able to go if you don't score well on your exams. Since everyone is here, why don't you have the third years overlook your studies? Yes, please. I wonder if anything actually happens if you suck at your exams. Let me know in the comments. If you're at, like, academics rank one, and you get every single answer wrong, is there anything there? Is there any sort of new text where people are disappointed in you because I don't think they're actually gonna not let you go because there's it'd be weird if they restricted that part of the game because it's kind of important all right I'll let the other second years know too <laughs> the ferry trip to Yakushima on the line hope you perform I hope you perform very well on your exams <laughs> I'm fine helping out with studying but wouldn't it be easier to focus without the distraction they say studying with others grants benefits that can't be found alone. Hey, so if we flunk the exams, are we really gonna have to stay behind? Tell me that's a joke. It's no joke. As students, studying is our top priority. Failure will result in consequences. Well, I'm not too worried about that. Not naming names here, but don't get in the way, Junpei. What happened to not naming names? Uh, I guess if the fate of my trip depends on it, I don't really have a choice. I'll show you. I'll prove just how serious I am about Yakushima. My hand stops as I hit a tough question. What's the matter? Something you need help with? During these events, I always struggle with what to pick, because there's not really a funny option, but I feel like it's going, like, because these will obviously have different out, 
because we'll obviously get different dialogue depending on what we choose. I wonder, I'll go with this grammar. Old English verb conjugation differs from modern day. For example, you are becomes thou art. Oh my, remembering how to use archaic forms of verbs sounds rather intense. Uh, intense. I like the sound of that one. Keeping a note of that. Wisecracks from Junpei are one thing, but I didn't account for this. Maybe he's trying to test our ability to concentrate? Uh, yeah, I suppose that's not likely. Hmm. Nikutsuki sounds one up in me. I've got to think of a killer comeback. Stop getting distracted. You need to concentrate on your studies. She's right. Gotta focus. Let's keep at it. I focused so hard I couldn't hear anything else. Oh, come on. Are you struggling with memorization? Nothing beats repeating it until you know it by heart. Beats? Heart? <laughs> Not bad, Kirito kun what? No, that, that was not my intent with that statement. Well, if you're pulling out of the race, then I win, hands down. Kirijo Senpai defeated. Ugh, this is giving me a headache. Despite the diversions, I'd say that was productive. Keep it up so we can all go to Yakushima together. The puns alone make this single-handedly one of the greatest video games of all time. First semester final exams begin today and will last for five days. Alright, this shouldn't be too hard. This question seems familiar. Which form of magic is used to find water sources? That would be dowsing. I'm feeling this is the right answer. Good answer. This question seems familiar. How did the Witch of Agnesy gain the f first half of its name? That would be an error in translation. I have a feeling this is the right answer. This question seems familiar. Who designed the prototype for the katana? That would be Taira no Masakado. There's an error in this sentence. What kind is it? That would be comma splice. to a recent change in Tartarus. It seems that a path that had been blocked off is now open. I thought it prudent to inform you. Well then, I wish you a safe journey. Elizabeth said that a previously blocked, blocked path is now open. I should check it out the next time I go to Tartarus. Hey. Yo, what's up? Thank God today's the last day of exams. How have you been? Don't ask. Man, I can't wait to let off some steam. Gotta let loose during summer, you know? See? That wasn't an entirely negative conversation, so we're making progress. It's the last day of exams. All these questions look familiar. I feel like I did well. Testing are finally over! 
summer. The sun is shining bright. So, how'd you do? You are not gonna believe this. I aced PE. Well, that pretty much answers my question. Whatever. A real man doesn't dwell in the past. I'm already thinking ahead to the blue skies of Yakushima. Oh yeah, that's coming up soon, huh? Are you all ready to go? Uh, yep. Yeah, I guess I should start getting ready too. Oh, sorry, I don't sound very enthusiastic, do I? Hey, how about we stop somewhere on the way back? I don't have practice today. Sounds good. Where are we going? If you need to buy a swimsuit, I'd be happy to help. Very funny. All right, give me a sec. I'm gonna go grab my stuff from the locker room. Oh, I'll invite Fuka too. Hey, uh, I know I've been kind of a dick lately. So, uh, sorry about that. Don't worry about it. <laughs> All right, let's put this whole thing behind us. Cool? All right, let's get out of here. Will you? You bounce back from things so quickly, Junpei kun. You know it. Oh, hey, Sonata san's here. Don't see that every day. Ikutsuki san called me. I think he wants to talk about a new candidate. Does that mean another person is going to join? Maybe. Fuka. What's wrong, Natsuki-chan? Do you think you can stay after school with me for a mandatory study session? There's like no one. Oh, wait, are you about to head out for the day? Okay, then, never mind. Wait, it's all right. I'll help you. Sorry, I'll see you all back at the dorm later. I'm really surprised at how much she's changed. Ah, friendship. How beautiful. Adolescence is such a wonderful thing. So full of vibrancy. Mr. Chairman? Oh, hello. I just stopped by to pick someone up. I might as well introduce you to him now. <laughs> hello. Oh, Amada-kun. What are you doing here? You know him? He doesn't leave during the break because of his circumstances. Oh, I heard about that. Something about your parents, right? It used to only be me and my mom, but she got in an accident. So now it's just me. It happened two years ago. Right now, one of his distant relatives is paying for his school expenses. But that doesn't mean he should stay at the elementary school dorm all by himself, right? So I decided to move him to your dorm, just for the summer. <laughs> to our dorm? Do you really think that's a good idea? Why, of course. He has the potential. Then he's the new candidate? That's right. But as you can see, he's still just an elementary school student. So it's only a possibility for now. <sighs> Are you Akihiko Sonata Senpai? Uh, yeah. I've heard a lot about you. You've never lost a boxing match. Nice to meet you. Uh, yeah. Nice to meet you. Woo, bye bye school exams, hello summer vacation. Yakushima, here we come. I can't wait for Monday. Maybe I gotta hit up Polonia Mall to get some stuff for the trip. Yes, precisely. Oh, speaking of Polonia Mall, here, take this. Black sword. What's that? It's just a small reward. You all deserve a little something after studying hard for exams. Have you heard of the antique shop at Polonia Mall? 
It's called Mayoido. Correct. It just reopened today, actually. If you bring that to the shop, I'm sure they'll be of great help to you. Why? How's an antique shop gonna help us? Am I missing something? Mm. Hmm, I can't quite explain it very well myself. It'd be better to hear from the shop owner than from me. Well then, I'll let you take it from here. The antique shop in Polonia Mall. The chairman suggested I pay them a visit. I'll head over there now. Guess we're doing this now. Today's gonna be an extra uh, long episode because we have a lot of stuff happening today. How they'll help me, I don't know. Guess there's only one only one thing left to do is to find it. Oh. Oh, are you in high school and you're shopping here? Well, take your time and look around. Seems this lady owns the antique shop. I should show her the black sword that I got from Ikutsuki. Hmm? What's that? Here, let me have a look. Hmm. I see, so you're one of the ones Kurosawa was talking about. This is but a humble antique shop. Having said that, I believe I can be of some assistance to you. As long as I have something like this, like this black sword, that is. This here is a base model for crafting weapons. By fusing it with various materials, you can craft special equipment. I can help with the crafting process, but you're, you'll have to collect the required materials yourself. These base materials can be found in places that tend to be quiet and welcoming. That's why it'll be up to you to collect them. Also, if you find any gems or the like, I'd be willing to exchange them for some of my wares here. Well then, go ahead and have a gander. So... Fusion! That's a... Bit of a weird thing that I don't really use. Maybe I'll start using it more for this LP, but it's something I didn't really do on my first playthrough. Uh, fun fact, this voice actor... She's the same voice actor as Yukari in the original Persona 3. She also later went on to... She also voiced a character in Persona 5. Um, oh, Tanaka, here's some more s stuff. Oh, there you are. I've been looking for you. I have some unfortunate news regarding your investment. Things are not running as smoothly as planned, but it still has the potential to turn a profit, but I would require an additional 10,000 yen to get things back on track. Are you willing to increase your investment by that much? Sure thing, Tanaka. <laughs> yes, yes, very good. I'll be in touch once your fortune has been made. Or, I'm sorry, man in a suit. I shouldn't be calling you Tanaka, even though you're clearly the same guy. At the risk of making this episode longer than normal, I want to talk about that last uh, scene that we saw. Because it's a very uh, big scene for me. Because, first of all, Amada is joining our Armada. <laughs> Get it? Uh, he's a Persona user now, and he's going to go ahead, and he's going to be staying at our dorm for now, which is very interesting. I'm going to go ahead and go back to the dorm real quick. I believe he is the youngest Persona user in the franchise, although technically there is another character who, uh, in this game even, who technically cl counts as the youngest Persona user, depending on how you want to count it. But we'll get there when we get there. Also, Sonata sort of freaked out when he saw that Amada was going to be joining us. Uh, he had that freaked out expression the entire time, and it was just like, kind of weird, so we'll keep that in mind for later. Uh, but the big th part of that scene for me is Junpei, because he comes and actually apologizes, which, you know, was the thing that endeared me to his character. This is the thing where I was like, you know what? I like Junpei. He's pretty cool. Because... You know, before this, I didn't dislike Junpei necessarily, but I was just like, oh, he's just going to be another, you know, kind of obnoxious best friend character. But, you know, he takes that time to genuinely just be like, hey, I'm sorry. And the voice acting in uh, Reload definitely, like, adds more to that scene because it feels very genuine. Just, I don't know, the way that Junpei's voice actor, Zeno Robinson, delivers those lines is super cool. It, it's just like, really adds to the emotion of that scene and all of these characters the thing that i like about the persona 3 cast the most out of all of the um modern persona games i can't comment on uh persona 2 yet because i haven't finished it the reason that i like the persona 3 cast the most out of the modern persona trilogy is just because they feel like they have the most depth out of the entire cast because Persona 3 was the first game to have the calendar system 
and it really feels like they were using that to it really and it really feels like the writers were using that to their advantage because we get so much more depth out of these characters than I usually see in some, in the video games that I play. Maybe I just need to play more video games with deeper stories and plots and stuff like that. But I don't know, let me have this. Let me take a second to talk about how much I love these characters. Because I promise you, by the end of this Let's Play, these characters will have gone on full-on entire, like, emotional journeys and the reason that that's big for me is one complaint that i do have about personas 4 and 5 although i'm not saying i dislike those games i love personas 4 and 5 the characters kind of feel like they drop off after a certain point where they're introduced they have a problem and you go ahead and solve it over the course of the next month and then they're just kind of there in the background just to kind of react to the plot be like wow these bad things that are happening they're pretty bad and it and it kind of feels like you lose something there um where kind of for the rest of the game most of the characters don't have too much of a character arc that they go through uh and and you might say oh well the social links are there that's why you have the social links but it feels less impactful when you have to go to base what's basically side content to finish a character and feel like they have growth over the course of the entire game. Because social links feel very, in my mind at least, social links are very disconnected from the main plot. And I see so many people with the original Persona 3 especially, especially complaining about how Junpei doesn't have a social link, or how Sonata doesn't have a social link, but the entire game pretty much is their social link, because it's them finishing their character arc. Junpei and Sonata will have to go through these big emotional, and I'm not going to say any spoilers because, you know, obviously we're still pretty early in the game, uh, and I don't want to spoil anything because these are incredible stories that we're going to see, but trust me, they're going to go through big emotional journeys, and I cannot wait for you guys to see them so they don't really need a social link because the point of the social links for the teammates in four and five is just to is just to pick up where each teammate's story left off and give their plot some resolution kind of whereas for let's say fuka her social link is more of just like having fun with fuka it's not like her social link is her emotional resolution to the story. Her social link is just, oh, Fuka wants to, you know, she wants to learn how to cook. Let's see her go ahead and, you know, figure that out. And Yukari's social link that we'll get to will also be, while it will be, it will have some strong emotions to it, and it will be somewhat important to her character, her entire character is still finished in the main story. And same with Mitsuru. Even though, from what I remember, I think hers is the most connected to the main plot, she still gets her the ending to her character in the main story. The social link is just a side thing where you get to learn more about the character. I hope what I'm, all of what I'm saying is making sense, because I'm kind of just rambling at this point. But yeah, today has been a pretty long episode. Thank you guys so much for watching, and in the next episode, we're gonna get to hang out some more. We'll probably hang out with Sonata, but Junpei is open to hanging out with us again, which is a great step in our friendship because for the past few days, he has kind of just been pushing us away. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.